what's up you guys, it's Judy here with my life as Geek Eye. On this channel I create videos and product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love for you to join the Geek Eye family. And if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. Today's video is going to be a somewhat different sort of video. It is more of an in-depth product review, not quite like other product reviews. So I'm not gonna waffle on too much trying to explain what this video is because as I go on, you will realize what I am talking about. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. But before I do go any further, if you guys do enjoy this video, um, obviously you don't know yet because you don't even know what the hell I'm talking about <laughs> But when you do decide that you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up Subscribe before you leave if you haven't already if you want to and if you don't want to that's honestly just quite hurtful Yeah, you can also follow me on my social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter all of them are life is geek guy But honestly, I am only quite active on YouTube and Instagram So you can follow me on Instagram if any of them at all and I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna get straight into this video now, first of all, when I did my skincare routine videos, I realized, like, I already knew that it was expensive, but when I actually did the math, I realized it was intensely, intensely expensive. Unaffordable for most, and honestly, financially unsustainable for me, especially in the years to come. So I went on the quest to find affordable skincare. I knew it would be quite a challenge because I have tried affordable skincare in the past, and Honestly, nothing really worked for me. So I took on this challenge to find affordable skincare. Now, it has taken me a bit of time to go through a few products, this, that, and the other. And honestly, I had a lot of misses along the way. A lot of products broke the crap out of my skin. I don't know if you can see here, but I have a lot more scarring than I used to in the past. Like, I had had such a good run with my skincare, but when I started changing things up, trying to find affordable products, that's when my skin started going haywire. And I think a lot of my personal life situation has had a lot to do with it as well. So definitely stress and hormonal changes in your body, in your life, are gonna have an impact on you. But I do believe that a lot of the manifestation on my skin here has a lot to do with what I have put on it. And just in brief summary, the brand that broke me out is Sukin, which is a huge shame because this brand is actually naturally created with no mineral oils, no synthetic fragrances, no animal derivatives, no artificial products, no harsh detergents, no MEA, DEA, TEA, phthalates, sulfates, parabens, silicones. I don't even know what a lot of these things are, but it's natural, it is vegan, it is all good stuff. But unfortunately, those products broke me out. I used the restorative night cream, I used the intensive moisturizing cream, I used an eye serum, and I used a firming serum, and every single one of these products broke the absolute crap out of my skin. I had texture, I had bumps. Another brand that I used was Olay. The moisturizer, the facial cleanser, the gentle facial cleanser. Mind you, I used a fair few products. I spent a bit of money on these products, and every single one of them unfortunately didn't work out for me, which is quite annoying because these brands are actually quite quite affordable. Now, I don't know if it's because I have used a lot of high-end skincare in the past and my skin is just like used to the more finer things in life, but you're just gonna have to get used to some more affordable shit because I can't afford you. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, long story short, my skin broke out. I'd been feeling really, really shitty about filming due to the state of my skin. But the reason why I am wearing no makeup today is so that you can see the state of my skin. And my skin looks like this after only two weeks of using the product that I'm going to be talking about today. While I have found a lot of affordable products that didn't work for me, I did find one brand of affordable, well, affordable compared to what I was using before, skincare products that did work for me, but I'm not gonna be talking about them in this video because they do deserve a video all on their own. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about one, one skincare item that has changed my entire skincare game. And the best part, it's only $8.50 compared to freaking 100 and 200 and 300 and ridiculous stuff. So honestly, I wish I took a before photo before I started using this one product. But if you've watched any of my videos previous to this one, you would have noticed that my skin had developed a lot of pimples, texture, discoloration, and it was honestly discouraging me and getting me quite down. But yeah, my skin was having its own shit show. But after cutting off all other skincare and using only this one product on a regular basis, morning and night, 
This is what my skin looks like now. Even though I have been using it for two weeks, I did actually see a difference overnight. And I do believe it wasn't a fluke or a coincidence or a change in hormones or a change in weather or whatever. Simply because I do test out so much skincare. And I know generally after a few days if something works for me or not. And so when something makes a difference overnight, I know that it's that one thing. And so at this point you're probably now like, will you shut up and tell us what this product is? Okay, okay, guys, prepare yourselves. I'm talking about glycerin. This unhugged, inconspicuous, untalked about ingredient that I stumbled across among the laxatives at Woolies. <laughs> now you're probably saying, what the hell is that? What is glycerin? Well, according to Wikipedia, Google, several skincare beauty doctor sites on the internet, I've done my due diligence and done some research. Glycerin or glycerol is a simple polyol compound, which is an organic compound. Without getting too scientific, it is naturally derived from either a plant or animal sources. So it's not a chemical, like in the toxic sense of the word. It's a colorless, odorless, viscous liquid that is sweet and non-toxic, widely used in the food industry as a sweetener. So it's, it's also edible. So if you put this on your chapped lips and you lick your lips, you're not gonna die. You'll also find that glycerin is widely used in an extensive range of skincare and cosmetic products. So here's what I'm talking about. This one is a Sukin Restorative Night Cream. The ingredients, water, sesame seed oil, other oils, this, 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 glycerin. Here's the Rejuvenating Day Cream. Water, ingredients, ingredients, this, 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 glycerin. This one is the Olay Cleanser. Water, other stuff, other stuff, glycerin. Glycerin, glycerin, and yep, glycerin. Whenever glycerin is mentioned in the ingredients list of any of these products, nine times out of 10, they are one of the first five or six ingredients. So glycerin is very, very widely used in the cosmetic and skincare industry. I hear a lot of beauty YouTubers mention, oh, here's the ingredients list. It has glycerin in it, so it's gonna be good on my skin. And so I'm all about efficiency in life, in every area of life. So I thought, if glycerin is such an applauded product to have it in your skincare or cosmetics, I was thinking, why not try the pure, unadulterated, undiluted, pure product of glycerin and see what it can do for my skin in a concentrate form. So you're like, okay, now shut up, enough about what it is. Talk about what it can do for your skin. So basically, this. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but if I insert a clip of a video where my skin was acting up really, really bad, that's the before and this is the now. So the beautifying benefits of glycerin. It is anti-aging. It stabilizes collagen and accelerates the healing process on your skin. It's a natural exfoliant. It has a keratolytic effect helping with disquamation, which in normal person language means that it helps the skin to soften and helps the skin in its natural exfoliating process that breaks down dead skin cells, preventing dull and flaky skin. Moisturizing. Glycerin is a natural effective moisturizing ingredient helping to soften and lubricate the skin. It's also an anti-irritant. It's known to influence the protective function of the skin against irritation. So if you have sensitive skin, this will actually help with the sensitivity-ness of your skin. Hydration. Glycerin absorbs and maintains its own weight in water over a period of days, making it the perfect ingredient for dry skin. It's like a drink of water for the skin, literally. Like I struggled with a lot of dryness around my nose and around my mouth, and I don't have that anymore. Glycerin definitely improves the appearance of skin, maintains moisture levels, maintains skin health, which is in due part to the fact that your skin is hydrated and doesn't have the characteristic scaly look of dry skin. It's a natural emollient that helps keep your skin moisturized and the fact that it goes hand in hand with its gentle exfoliating properties means it keeps your skin looking soft and supple. So far all of this has been words but right here right now I'm going to be talking about my own testimony and my own experience using this one ingredient. It's important for you to know that I cut out all other moisturizers in my skincare. All of them. Every single one. I'm talking about my Restoring Day Cream from Jericho Cosmetics, my Restoring Day Cream from Kedma Cosmetics, I'm talking about my Intensive Night Cream from Jericho Cosmetics, and I'm also talking about my Marula Virgin Luxury Facial Oil. Now, all of these products put together probably cost about $500, if not more. This one product cost me $8.50. As far as skincare goes, all that I have used on my face in the last two weeks is glycerin. 
that's all that is all I've used what I've done is that like I've taken the lid off put my fingers on the top taken a dab and cheeks forehead chin and neck and then I would massage that into my skin I apply this at night and also in the morning and another plus in this is that my makeup applies really really beautifully over the top my foundation blends normally and smoothly over the top and in fact even better because my foundation isn't catching on to the dry patches on my skin or sinking into the texture lines and bumps on my face and my makeup still lasts a full day I do use a matte foundation and I do set my face with powder before I started using glycerin by the end of the day my face would look cakey and dry and flaky especially around the nose but now it doesn't do that if anything my foundation will just sort of fade gracefully throughout the day it might be a tiny a little bit patchy because of the extra added moisture that my skin is drawing in from the air so my face might look a little bit more glowy than it normally does but it actually gives me a really healthy sort of glow after only a few days of using glycerin as my only skincare I began to see a diminishing of the texture in my skin my skin stopped breaking out like a mother and the scaly dry patchiness has disappeared I still have discoloration and scarring but it's just the overall texture of my skin that has changed and with the makeup on top my skin looks almost flawless I say almost because perfectly flawless is unrealistic I mean we live in the real world not everybody has Instagram skin <laughs> not unless you have hundreds and thousands and millions of dollars to spend on your skincare line like the Kardashians do I still have a tiny bit of texture on my forehead and on my jawline here but it's nothing like I was experiencing only a few weeks ago Using glycerin has soothed, calmed, and moisturized my skin in a way that it has never been before, leaving it a lot more soft, supple, and plump than it was before. When I first initially applied it to my skin and massaged it in, I was a little bit alarmed. <laughs> It had a slight warming sensation on my skin and I kind of freaked out because I thought I was gonna burn the crap out of my skin but the sensation dissipated as I continued to massage it into my face and my skin didn't react in a negative way when you do apply it however and even after you massage it into your skin it can be quite sticky which is actually why I think it also helps in the longevity like in the wear of my makeup but the stickiness goes away after I blend in my foundation but I have found that I do need to blot more throughout the day when I use glycerin underneath my makeup at night I apply it before I go to bed so the stickiness it really just feels like another mask I would apply before I go to sleep honestly I can't say enough good things about this product I know I was all about the Kedma line and Jericho cosmetics and this stuff is awesome and L'Occitane is awesome like I will still be using these products up until the point that I've used every single last drop of it because they're freaking expensive and there's no point why I shouldn't use them and even L'Occitane I will still be using this serum this serum is still a lifesaver for me the fact that glycerin works for me doesn't mean that I'm going to stop using this L'Occitane when I need a little bit of extra care and a little bit of extra help for my skin because it still works for me but honestly at the end of the day all of these products all of these products drunk elephant kedma loxy tan it just costs me way too much money the average person can't even afford these things I am an average person the only reason why I've been able to buy these things is because I'm good with saving money I'm good with budgeting things I cut out things so I can buy other things but honestly it's not financially sustainable for me and I've decided that I need to go back to basics my skin needs to train itself to stop being such a high maintenance bitch like I know not everything will work for everybody but it's definitely worth a try and for eight dollars you're really not losing very much if you try it it doesn't work for you no harm no foul but yeah this is my review this is my experience this has worked for me at the end of the day all I can do is present you with my own research show you my own results my own experience with the product and that goes for every product and allow you to come to your own conclusion I hope you do your own research when it comes to buying skincare makeup anything all the product reviews that you hear on the internet may be able to help you make an educated decision before you spend your hard-earned money on any product like I would definitely still recommend purchasing Jericho Kenma any of these products but if you've come to a point in your life where you can't afford them like me then we have glycerin I've realized more and more that a lot of skincare items are fancy for fancy's sake which then warrants them to have the high price tag that they do have but this is just things that I've discovered along the way skincare is a very very personal thing not everything works for everybody so I would definitely encourage you to do your own research try out different things see what works for you so yeah that's my experience and my review on the product glycerin 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful and that it'll help you on your quest to take care of your skin. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life is Geek Guy, but I'm really only more active on my Instagram. So you can go follow me there if you're going to follow any at all. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I really truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! The birds are so loud. Also, I'm getting sick. So, let's <coughs> hope my voice doesn't give up today. <clears throat> Bread, which I'm gonna make a whole video all on their own. I'm gonna make a video for all of all, which I'm, which I am gonna make a video for all on their own. I'm going to. My skin is just used to the finer bird. All of their own. This is a video talking about these products all of their own. And I do believe it wasn't a fluke or coincidence. Yes, I'm talking about glycerin. Yes, I am talking about glycerin. This unhyped, this unhyped, inconspicuous ingredient, this unhyped, inconspicuous ingredient that I found among the laxatives. This unhyped, untalked about, inconspicuous ingredient that I found among the laxatives at Woolies. According to Wikipedia, you know, like if you want to be, you know, if you want to be, what's the word? Think of the word. Not effective, not productive. Oh my goodness, I can't think of the word. What is the word? Word. Uh, effective. Efficient. Efficient. That's the word. <laughs> and so I'm all about efficiency. So I was thinking pure, unadulterated, undiluted. I'm going to be reading off my notes right here. <laughs> It has a keratolic, keratolytic, helping dis, helping, which in normal person language, I'm talking about my intent, rude, don't, yeah, my hands, I don't want to talk about it. And other, my makeup plot, and my skin didn't react in a negative, <clears throat> and at the, it was, my skin needs to train itself to be. My skin needs to train itself to, to, 